Hello, it's Collector David, and today Sunday's video is a viewer's suggestion that was wondering if I fixed a couple of these to make them work, and the answer is I have. But they're very frustrating and very finicky, extremely finicky to get working perfectly. So like 9 times out of 10 there's always little problems, the, these are a little bit off-centered, all the gates don't go all the way up, spring-loaded stuff. And then we have this, this is a later version, and then this is a earlier version with the orange gates. Totally different setup. So first I'll tell you the difference, and then I did to fix a little bit of both of them. Okay, so this one, basically, the deal with this one is, it looks basically the same, only the little rivet points, um, not rivet points, the little washers, I don't know if you can see it, but the washers are on three different sections in the back. So it's on the left, on the middle in the back, and on the right. I have it glued down so that I can't quite take it apart. But so it's three washers, basically one there, one here, one there, and then the solenoid is right there. And so, yeah, there's three little arms, basically. They all had to be perfectly flat with each other, otherwise it won't work, so that's one thing. And another thing is these side gates, right here. This one and this one have to be flush flat, because otherwise these things will catch on and won't go all the way up. And another thing I'll do that is if this part of the gate, right over here, this point, if that is not bent in a little bit, it can catch as well, it just won't go all the way in. And so that's basically the top part. Now it's for the back. I don't know if I can show you, but on the bottom right here, it has a little tiny flap. That flap needs to be touching the bottom of the metal on this side. And same thing on this side. If those aren't exactly even, it's not going to work that well. And so that's the second, the third part. And then basically in the middle, you see this is like the clip that goes up and down. That needs to be totally flat with that arm. And on the bottom of that is a tiny little screw. Um, right there, basically. See that screw right there? That has to be some adjustment, too. That gives it how much power it's going to go up and down. And as you probably might know, is it also has to have this clip and this clip for it to work. And it has to be slightly barely below the metal rail so it doesn't touch the train. If it's above, it's going to spark the train or reverse it. And same thing with this. Those have to be enough for the glass you can touch it. And then back here we have the nut that, that basically makes it go tighter into the front, or looser, in the front lower parts. And it has two different sections. It has the higher version and the lower version. Um, Basically, you put it down here, it's for old gauge, you put it up there, it's for old 27, so it works both ways. So that's pretty much um, involving all the detail in that, of how to get it working and stuff. And I worked on these sometimes for 5, 6, 7, 8 hours, again, working perfectly. And even so, most of the time these gates don't want to go all the way up, they just kind of flop about like this point, And they won't go all the way up. But it takes a lot of... Um, I guess practicing to get them working. I've had three of them, one of them, the motor killed over because when I was young I used it too much. The cylinder and bad. So then I got this one for Christmas. And then I got this one uh, a couple Christmases ago. So this one is a totally different setup because the set of the washers mean in basically the metal left and right. The washers on the side, one there, one there, and one there, and one on this side. Those each have a flap, and the flap needs to be perfectly um, aligned in order for it to work the right way, number one. Number two, in order for this to actually go up all the way, which this one's struggling a little bit, typically you get them about like this much, it won't go most of the time all the way up. It's very hard to tweak it that much. This one has a totally different setup. Let me turn on my lamp a minute. So on the bottom here, there is no, not a screw point, it's just basically a rod, and the rod actually goes around it versus flat on it, so it's got a different hookup in that sense too. And if this thing is tuned up the right way, then this one actually works a lot better in my opinion. I had it work really good, and then I had something happen to it, and then just basically wasn't the same. Took it to a repair, I gotta kinda fix it, and I ended up fixing it all the time. So, it went from basically the gate's not working at all, and the vibration not working at all, so now it's working pretty good. And same thing, but it has to have both 
ground points and positive points. And again, to this one to get working, the main thing I did is again make sure that this is line straight. This is line straight. It's not keeping the ramp from going in. Make sure the rod right here is flush flat. Also making sure the bottom here is not bent backwards or forward. A few different things like that would help it work a lot better. And I never took this off because these flaps are so thin. It's on me with how thin those little flaps are. So I don't, you, once you break them, you basically are getting a ramp. So anyways, um, that's what I did to get these working. And as I said, I got both these different ones. And this one with electricity will pop straight up. And the spring thing on this one, it says a synoid, but the spring one on this is basically that anchor weight, which is hard to see. Let's see if I turn this way. You can see there's an anchor weight down there. So that's more harder to deal with. It's got the same hookups on the back. But, um, yeah, basically I just kind of did a few things like that to get them working. And if you use them a good amount, they're going to go from working to not working. Then you got to tweak it a little bit more. So I want to use them sparingly and not just all the time like I did when I first got 10 years ago. There's one more thing with these things that I got to mention too. is the bottom of this thing, you see that little flap going to that little square right there? That flap is on both this and the other ramp. That needs to be touching the metal. And if it doesn't quite touch the metal, it's not going to work at all with the vibration through the car and through the corral. So at both those, this side and this side, needs to be touching the ramp. That little flap that goes from the ramp entrance to the ramp itself needs to be touching. If that isn't touching... It's not gonna work, and if this is slightly, if this flap is slightly off from this one up or down, it's not gonna work as well either. That needs to be touching, otherwise the ramp will not work at all. That's how one of the reasons I end up fixing this one. And that's also how I fix this one. This again, that little ramp, that little flap needs to be touching the ramp. If it's not touching, it's not gonna work. So just make sure those are touching evenly.